Hello, it's Vicki Tate at Body and Spine Align and I was wondering if you've ever had a challenge in life that you just couldn't seem to budge. Um, either a pain, a stress or just one of life's little challenges that just kept reoccurring and you didn't really know what to do, didn't seem to feel like it was something that was a huge burden, sometimes they are, and you wanted to be able to do something for yourself to make it feel better. Well today I'm going to introduce you to a simple technique that is called, often called tapping, uh, otherwise known as emotional freedom technique and uh, it's a combination of ancient Chinese acupuncture and modern day psychology. It works with the acupuncture points, so it's, the reason it's called tapping is because we tap on our face and it's a really curious, a really curious technique. You think why or how can this tapping on my face deal with a pain in my back or stress at work or um, procrastination or a problem with money or depression? They're really good questions and the reason is that quite often when we have an issue we, we hold it in our body we don't always resolve it at the time and so we carry that within our body and it becomes a problem it becomes a recurring habit or an issue and when we start to tap on these acupuncture points it begins to release some of that tension that's held in the body it's a fascinating technique and when I first heard about it I was extremely skeptical but I was looking for something for my clients because what sometimes what happens when we're working with the body an emotional issue can come out and I needed something that worked quickly so that people could start to get back into their body feel comfortable and safe enough to drive home and that's why I became interested in it started doing some research myself and at the time I had injured my back and um, so I went to this three-day workshop and I took my mattress and my pillows and all of the things I needed to support my back because at the time I couldn't sit for more than 15 minutes at a time without becoming um, in a lot of pain so we started tapping on an issue that was really quite small and my pain disappeared and did not come back for I think it was around about eight or nine months when some other stresses started happening in my life and my pain reappeared. Uh, I became really interested in the technique, started using it for myself, started using it for my clients and have had extraordinary results. People who've had travel phobias, people who've had um, being stuck in their business and being able to move forward and actually become extremely abundant and successful. Um, people who have had extreme pain and the pain has been reduced down to a point where they can manage without painkillers. So if you'd like to know a little bit more stay tuned and if you've got any questions please leave them down below. And hi Greta, um, it's good to see you here. And let me know where you're listening in from and if you have any issues that might be useful to use tapping with. I've got a few notes. I always like to have notes. It keeps me on track because I can waffle a bit. Um, so some people use it for weight management and for food cravings. Um, what are some of the other things? Uh, yes, been known to help people with fibromyalgia when there's not very much else that works with fibromyalgia. Um, body image issues as I talked about limiting beliefs in abundance and uh, procrastination and one of the wonderful things about tapping is it once you understand the issue which starts to come forward when we tap you can find a place of safety and the body is willing to change once it feels safe it's one of the most important things that we need to be able to move on and away from tension what I love about tapping is it helps realign the body the mind and the spirit so that we're all working as one and sometimes you hear people say I just feel I'm beside myself and if that's the case tapping is a wonderful tool to help you become more yourself and come back into yourself especially after an accident injury or trauma so how does it work 
we start tapping on the points. First of all, we tap on our karate chop point and with the what we call a setup statement. Mm -hmm. And we start focusing on the issue or the truth. Whether that's true in in everybody else's life doesn't matter. It's true for you at the moment. It's what your body and your mind and your spirit believes about an issue right now. And so there it's that's the truth for you. And um, as we start tapping on these points and we start talking, so we're talking and tapping and we're moving, because our body is really, um, our stress mechanisms have been designed to work with when in ancient times when we were being chased by wild things. So it's designed for us to move, to act. So these days, if you're stressed, if you're upset, um, Sometimes you feel like you want to hit or punch someone, but we can't. That's not socially acceptable in our society. So we have to contain our stress and it gets focused into our body and eventually becomes pain, illness or some other problem, a phobia. Uh, so we start to focus on the issue and um, when we do that, it helps connect our body with our fight and flight mechanism, the amygdala. And we can then, as we start to tap through the issue and start to realize what's really going on, we can then choose to let it go. We can start to see the issue at a more deep level and let it go. Um, so it's fantastic for all of those things. It just helps to reprogram the brain, reprogram our responses so that we can feel safe in the world. And then something starts to shift. Um, so how do we get started? First of all, you need a target. You need to focus on something. So just for a moment, just settle back into your body and notice where there's some stress, some tension or some pain. And just focus on that for a moment. And pick a number between 0 and 10, 0 being no pain, so you, you won't be picking 0, and 10 being the most pain you could ever imagine, and pick a number somewhere in that range that is signifies whereabouts you're at with your pain at the moment. And I recommend that you get a piece of paper and you simply write down this pain in my back, 4 out of 10. So don't pick anything that's an eight or over because if that's the case you really need to be working with a practitioner because there's a lot of issues there. So something in the three to five sort of range we're going to work with because we're working very generally here today. And then, um, then we're going to start to focus on that. So we start with a setup statement. We tap here on the side of the hand. And so this pain that I'm feeling in my body, even though I feel this pain in my body, I love and accept myself. This pain that I have in my body, I recognize you and I accept myself completely, even though I have this pain. Even though I have this pain and it's causing me some distress, I love and accept myself completely. And people might say, well, why are, you talk why are you looking at the negative? It's not the negative, it's the truth of you at the moment. And if you, you, if you can't face the truth, then you can't heal it. So we work with that. Then the, we start tapping on the issue. Now, because I wear glasses, I might have to take them off so that you can see, me, see where I'm tapping. So the first point is right here at the corner of the eyebrow where the eyebrow um, starts on near the bridge of the nose and we tap gently probably about six or seven times on each point the second point is where the eyebrow finishes so we're not on the eye we're on the bone around the eye and we're tapping gently there the third point is underneath the eye virtually underneath the pupil then we call this one under the nose, so tapping just under the nose on the top lip. 
The next one's in the crease on the top on the bottom lip, and it's called on the chin. The next point is the collarbone point, and this can trick a few people up. So there's a couple of different ways you can do it. If you follow the collarbone around, um, and there's that knobbly bit just there, just out to the side a little bit, there's a there's a a dimple. That's where we're going to be tapping. So you can tap one hand, the other hand, both hands. Some people like to tap like this for the collarbone point and then they're getting everything. The next point is under the arm. So for ladies, it's um, around about where the bra strap is and for men, it's around about at the nipple line. So we tap there underneath the arm and then the last spot is on the top of the head. So let's get going. This pain. We're going to be very general, so just focus on your pain that you have. This pain that I'm experiencing right now. This pain that I can feel in my body. This pain that is restricting me. This pain that I can feel in my body. This pain in my body. This pain that I can feel. This pain. And take a breath in. Take a breath out. Releasing. And focus on that pain again. And notice if it's, if it's changed or shifted. And it may have shifted just one point or two points. That's fantastic. So write down the next level that you've come to. Sometimes it gets a little bit worse. That's okay too because it means that there's a deeper issue that we need to deal with. But today we're only dealing very, very superficially so we're just going to keep moving on. If your pain does get worse, I recommend that you definitely see a practitioner, a registered practitioner in an EFT or tapping. Uh, because there's something there that sometimes we can't look at ourselves and somebody else can help us see past the fog that we have developed to try and protect ourselves. Because basically, um, all of these defense mechanisms are try, trying us trying to keep ourselves safe from whatever the situation was that caused the pain in the first place. So then we're going to tap again and we're going, even though I have this pain... I love and accept myself, corner of the eye. Even though I have this pain and I don't feel like I can let it go right now, I love and accept myself. This pain is right there, it's constant. This pain is following me around. This pain, I'm not ready to let it go. I can still feel it this pain that I can feel. I acknowledge that I have this pain. Maybe I could let this pain go. Maybe I can't. What would life be like without this pain? Would life be easier without this pain? Maybe it's time to let this pain go. I could choose to let part of this pain go. Maybe I could let part of the pain go. I could choose to let part of the pain go. Maybe it's time to release this pain. Take a breath in. And breathe out. and check in again. Now I had a band of tension just through the middle of my back and just with doing this very simple technique that tension has reduced to almost nothing. But if you still have some pain we can keep tapping and go again. This pain that I'm feeling, this pain that's in my body, I'm holding on to this pain because it's keeping me safe. This pain is letting me know that I have something I need to deal with. I could choose to let this pain go. 
I could let this pain go right now. I could choose to release this pain. I allow myself to choose to release this pain right now. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. And check in. So most of you would have already felt that there's a shift, that there's been a reduction in pain, tension or stress. This is such a simple technique. Children can learn it, adults can learn it. It's so, so powerful. It's like peeling away the layers of the onion. If you still have some pain or tension or have a problem that you know is deep seated that goes back a long way, then you need to work with a registered practitioner. So find a practitioner near you and make some inquiries, have a chat with them about your particular issues and start to find some way to heal your pain, your stress, your tension, your anxiety, your depression. So I hope this has been helpful. If ever you feel like you have pain or tension, you can use this simple technique and start to make yourself feel better. This is Vicki Tate from Body and Spine Align at Mansfield and at Burpengary East and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye for now.